Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 1232. Hey, if you want to download this workbook 1232 to 1234, click on the link below the video. Hey, back in Excel Magic Trick 1231, we had 36 lookup tables that we had to look up to get a discount rate. Now, there was a bunch of awesome comments below this video, and Bill Sizzes with his awesome power query talents posted a video and there it is. Now you should go watch this video because he did it slightly differently than the way I'm going to do it. He actually took all of these tables, imported them into Power Query, then transformed them into a single table, then imported this table, connected them in Power Query, and exported them as a single table with the discount rates. It didn't need any formula at all. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to take some of the tricks I learned from Bill Sizzes and actually simply transform 36 tables into a single table here and then do a VLOOKUP. All right, so the first thing is when we import a table into Power Query, we're going to need to either convert it to a table, which would be insert table, or you can convert it to a filtered list, and Power Query will interpret it correctly. Now, we want to do all 36 tables in one swoop. So watch this. I highlight it at the top. And before I click in the very last corner here, I'm going to hold the Shift key and click. Now I've highlighted all 36 tables in essence as a single table. Now I can go up to Data, click on Filter, or I can simply use the keyboard Control Shift L. Just for a second, I'm not going to filter them. But the fact that I turned the filter on, that range will be considered a filter. Now I'm going to Control Shift L, which is a toggle to turn it back off. Now with that highlighted, I can import it into Power Query from Table, but we're going to trick it with that filter database. Here's our table with all the empty cells called null and no column names or anything. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to come over here and look at this filter database. I'm going to highlight this and name it Discount Table. And the cool thing about naming this here is that'll show up over in Excel as our table name, and we'll use that in our VLOOKUP function. All right, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take column number one, and I want to split it apart. So I get table and then the region and product group into two separate columns. So home ribbon over here split by a delimiter. Now I'm actually going to click the drop down and come down to custom because I want to type a colon and a space. That way I won't have that extra little space there. That will be our delimiter. When I click OK, it splits it now. Now we need to do a similar thing here. We need to split it with the underscore. So now we're going to have one, two, three extra columns. So go up to Split by Delimiter. Click the drop down, Custom, and I'm going to type an underscore. Click OK. That's pretty cool. Now what I need to do is I need to fill the region and the product group down. So I simply highlight the two columns, Shift, and then click on the second column over to Transform. Here's the Fill and Fill Down. That is pretty amazing. Now I need to get rid of, because you can see I only want the 123, 123, 123. I need to get rid of some of these records here. So I'm going to come over to the, in essence, Discount column. And notice that there's a null here. That'll get rid of the tables, right? Null here, that'll get rid of the tables. And then wherever there's not a number here, these nulls will get rid of the nulls over here. So I'm going to Filter, drop down, and uncheck Null, click OK. So now I filtered it. And now we have only the records we want. Now the next step is I need to merge one, two, three columns into a single column with a unique identifier so we can look up and find our discount. Now over in the Excel table, it was region, product, group, and then product. So before I click this Merge button over here to merge the columns into a single one, I want to make sure and select region first then product group, then product. That way, when I click that button, it'll know to merge it in that order. 
click on region. I'm holding control. The second column I'm going to click on is product group. And the third column is product. By ordering my clicks of the column, when I click the Merge Columns button, I do not want a separator because I want to make the formula over in Excel easier. So I'm just going to merge them. When I click OK, look at that. It got region, product group, and product. Now we have our unique identifier to look up our discount. Let's rename the column. So I'm going to call this one something like, how about lookup, enter, double click, discount, and enter. Now discount. We have our steps over here. And you know, I forgot. I named this incorrectly. So I'm going to click up on the top and type in N and then Enter. Again, that name will show up over in Excel. And we can use it in formulas to refer to this. All right, now I want to go to Home. And our goal is to close and load to, dump it as a table. And we want it. Either as a new worksheet, and a new worksheet might be a good option, right? Because we're going to have that table name we can use in our VLOOKUP. But I'm going to go ahead and dump it onto this sheet just so we can see. Click the Collapse button. I'm going to put it into something like I9. And click OK. Click Load. 120 uh, rows loaded. Let's close that and look at that. That is beautiful. Now I can simply, from this unique identifier and discount table, use VLOOKUP. Now my lookup value needs to be joined, 1, 2, 3. So I'm going to arrow over, Shift 7 to get the join symbol ampersand. So we have the region and then the product. Ampersand again, and we have our product. In essence, by joining those three, when it, the formula evaluates it, and I will simulate that by hitting F9, we will have a single item that we can match in our first column of our table. Now I'm going to Control Z to undo that. Comma, the table, I'm going to type DIS, and it looks like down arrow, there's our table tab, and you can see it's got the table. The second column has the discount, so comma, 2, comma, and then I'm using exact match 0 because I didn't sort it. And by the way, I could have sorted it during that Power Query transformation. And then I wouldn't have to use the 0. I could just leave that empty. Nevertheless, Control Enter, double click and send it down. That is absolutely amazing. Now, one thing about Power Query is this table will update. If I were to change anything over here, um, and this would, our solutions back here, of course, would accommodate any change here. But if I were to change this to 5%, enter, notice it didn't update automatically. If I come over here, I actually have to refresh. So right click, refresh. And sure enough, it says 5% at the top. A West Freestyle Quad. There it is updating. Wow, that's pretty amazing to take 36 separate tables, run it through Power Query, dump it as a table, and then have our VLOOKUP simply look at that table. Man, I love hanging out on our awesome online Excel team. Thanks to Bill Sizzes. We'll see you next trip.